Welcome to Date with Danu. Today on the show, I have a pair. They're super strong together. They have very strong opinions. I'm sure they have one of those arguments where they learn to disagree and yet love each other. They make such an amazing pair. They have created a family together and they have so much to share with you. As I'm happy to introduce friends and also great personalities, Kandiban and Vidya. Hi, my name is Vidya Kandiban. I am um, an educator, a lawyer, and more than everything, a proud mother of two, a loving wife, a daughter, and a very, very proud Sri Lankan. Hi, my name is Kandiban Balendran, an educator, entrepreneur, and a media personality. More than that, uh, a father of two little uh, champ. Uh, and looking forward to date with Danu um, and share our stories. And our stories makes who we are today, right? So uh, I'm excited and it's even more special when we share our stories with our better half. So I'm here with my wife, Vidya Khandiban. Um, looking forward to the show. So this is my second time on date with Danu. Uh, the first time we discussed about uh, peace building. Um, I'm really excited about the show today. I've tried asking him what it is going to be about but he hasn't given me any clues, so this is going to take us by surprise. The story, me and Danu, goes back to almost 20 years when he was a kid at uh, St. Peter's College. And I have seen how he grew a little kid to a, a media personality and an impact creator, who he is today. And I'm extremely proud of uh, his journey and uh, uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to be part of his show, Date with Danu. Uh, I believe that he brings the best out of all participants and uh, it's, it's extremely difficult to uh, have a conversation, have a fun conversation with me, I believe. Always it's a serious conversation. So let's see how it's going to go. Uh, I'm excited. So I have Vidya and Khandiban. Vanakkam. <laughs> Vanakkam. Vanakkam. Hi. I wanted to say Vanakkam. Why, why, why? I can't say Vanakkam. <laughs> I said Vanakkam. Ah. All right. Uh, to start things off, uh, let me just put this record straight. We may not be heard on this show because Kandiman has a very powerful voice. You want me to say anything? Uh, no, no, no. That's fine. Okay. I, I, you know, I expected your conversation starting with Vanakam. That's, all, that's ah, really? how you greet me always. That's amazing. Uh, so, Kandiban and Vidya, you guys have caught a very different market than the people who I might usually have on this show. Uh, and you all have contributed so much towards the Tamil industry uh, in terms of television, dance, uh, creativity, education and so on. Let's start off with you. Uh, I, can I call you Kandi? It's easy enough. Whatever uh, you're comfortable. Yeah. Uh, in terms of great things that you have achieved, uh, I think you have been such a go-getter. You have been a part of Harvard, you have studied so much, you have worked from a young age, you have made your presence on TV and also made people remember your presence on TV. What makes you who you are? All right. Uh, first, thank you so much for having us uh, on your show, special show. And it's even more special when I participate with my better half. With <laughs> And <laughs> <laughs> congratulations on your 20 years. Uh, Thanks. You know, before we talk about anything else, and Thank we are extremely proud of you and what you have achieved. Thank you. Uh, see, uh, where I stand now, um, my, my story is part of many people, right? You know, uh, many people who contributed to who we are today in our journey, starting from our parents and, you know, our family. Uh, Vidya makes me even more special and stronger. Um, and she made me a better version of myself and uh, and we also learn from our kids you know we have two little champs uh, Kavin and Deeran um, as I said our parents and the people who were part of our story uh, gave opportunities to us and those opportunities you know it's it's always up to us how we grab those opportunities and when we grab those opportunities that also comes with greatest responsibility and greatest responsibility towards our, our family, our communities, and our country and the world. Uh, and you know, you know, whatever we do in our little own ways, uh, let's make this country and the world a better place for all of us and our future generation. It paints a bigger picture. So you're a royalist, then you moved on to media as well. 
uh, tell me your transition from school time. You always debating Kalevala, all of that you were a part of. Um, yeah, so um, at Royal, I was uh, you know always known as a champion debater and a speaker, public speaker, and I was part of. Uh, I was the president of Dramatic Society. I was part of Leo Club as secretary. So I mean, we were. That experience actually gave us uh, again many opportunities to uh, be who we are today. Were you the one who made the announcements for the Tamil side? Wanna come? <laughs> <laughs> no, definitely not only me, but there are many. Uh, and uh, but I always believed, Danu. Um, you know, again, starting from your first question. There was someone. There was someone gave us opportunities, mm. and it's our responsibility to create those exposure opportunities and exposures to our yeah, younger generation. So from Royal to, uh, uh, and then I did my bachelor's at ACBT. Uh, I applied twice to Harvard uh, after high school, at Royal, got rejected both times. I had to wait almost uh, almost 20 years to get back to Harvard. And that's amazing. Uh, but you also had a long stay at Maharaja. We'll speak about it when we do come back. But uh, we have to speak to this wonderful lady here. It's her second time on the show. Actually, I had forgotten that you had come first until somebody else reminded me. Yeah. That happens when you're like really popular yes. and you can't keep track of stuff. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no. But uh, she's a brilliant Bharatanatyam dancer. If you have not seen it, uh, you're missing out on great performances. Um, she's quite artistic when she also expresses herself. Uh, when did you meet him and you wanted to get into the field of law just to debate with him, I think, better at home? No, no, no. Ah. <laughs> law was my choice. Yeah. But uh, the Your first Your father was uh, an example in yes, life? Yes, yes, absolutely. Um, I met him, actually the first time I met him, I was a school debater and he was my judge. Uh, so that's you, how we you can imagine, met right? then. Hold on, how old was he? he? He had, I think, just a few years after leaving school probably. Yeah. In my early 20s. Looking at these girls in school uniform, I'm telling you, <laughs> hmm, tell me, tell me. So, <laughs> but then it was like, Anna. if looks could actually kill, you know? Like kill in the literal sense. Oh right. Yeah, I, I didn't like him. Oh, <laughs> like that. Like that. He didn't melt your heart. No, no, no. No, no. You it's just not, hated him. Yeah. Yeah. He has that arrogant face about him, no? Exactly. Correct. Yes. Yeah, I also had the same impression at the start. So, but you really want to say, say that today, right? <laughs> yeah. You have such a mushy heart inside, but by the time you no, break it's it. it's true. I think before someone gets to know him, yeah. he comes across as someone who is very uh, like upright cement. and reserved, Sorry. probably. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, <laughs> but um, then you know the more you get to know him. But I want to know him. from your school girl outfit, who made the moves to keep no, it, it going? No, it was not then. It was I think at, at least around two years later that uh, we met at a Arangetram, a dance uh, show, mm. um, where he was comparing, but he had got late, so they dragged me in to start the show. So that's that's when we met again. These are what Tamil movies are made of. Uh, let's get into a break. We'll see you on the other side because I have so much to talk about. Okay, fine. So he's late and you are on stage comparing and then he walks in. Mm. Then what? Everything yeah, was slow no, motion? I think it, that we just keep that part because that, that's, really? it's been now... Uh, 16 years? Oh yeah, 16 yeah, years. Yeah, 16 years. So basically I've, I've known him for 16 years It now. sounds like you are, you are writing a screenplay for <laughs> a movie. I just yeah. wanted <laughs> to know <laughs> this. So was it all on slow motion that you saw? No. I don't think you are the girl who can be impressed with just looks or anything uh, like no, that. No, no. You need substantial Definitely. conversation. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And, and you get plenty of conversation from Kanye. <laughs> yes, that is true. That is true. Um, you know, in, in a very good sense because he, he knows like Every area, mm. any any topic, he can hold a conversation. So, um, yeah, I think uh, that's something that was the main attraction. Uh, both of you have a very special place in your hearts for your dads. Uh, I'm not saying mums, no, but I'm just saying uh, so much of a, uh, a hero that they have played in your life. Let's start with your dad. He was in the legal system. So, my father was the former Attorney General of Sri Lanka. He served for almost ten years. Uh, and he passed away in 2007. Uh, so yeah, I've, I'm the only child, so I'm 
I, I was very, very close to him. And I feel his presence in my life even today. Um, he was a very cool dad. You know, uh, people might think, okay, since he was this yeah, yeah. attorney general and, you know, prim following and proper the, and all of yeah, that, following the he books. could be a little strict. strict. But no, he was absolutely cool. Um, and he, he was an easygoing person. And it was, it was so much fun growing up as his daughter. Mm. And uh, yeah, I really miss him. I wish he was here to see how much... Uh, the grandkids. The and grandkids and how much uh, we have achieved. Yeah. Uh, yeah. All right. Uh, we'll come back to her in a bit. But uh, Kandi, uh, I think, uh, played the role of a dad as well at a very young age in your family. And I think your mom is definitely one of the most warmest, kindest people you'll ever find. It's her conversation can melt your heart. And after that, you feel like you have just adopted her into your life. Uh, that is actually genuinely that I'm saying it uh, honest. Uh, tell me about you playing a bigger role in your family because you had a young sister and your mom who kind of depended when your father like unfortunately passed away. Yeah, it was in, uh, in 2006, January uh, 4th, we lost so it was our dad. Kind of close by. One Richard year. So the part, we yeah. lost Vidya's yeah, dad year. in 2007. Um, it was shocking. And uh, the only thing we can, I mean, we can do to our parents, right, uh, to make them proud, the way they taught us to live this life. And, and both our parents, uh, you know, uh, they, they told us the values of life, the ethics and morals we need to stand by. And that's how, you know, that, that's why we are who we are today, you know. Um, yes, when, when, when I lost my dad, I was just 23 and my sister was just 18. And uh, I was, he was one of the top uh, businessmen from the community. And all of a sudden, I was into fully into media, and then all of a sudden, I had to take over the entire business operations. Um, but I was able to manage because of the courage my father gave me. And um, yeah, and 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 the values he taught us. Uh, and of course, as you correctly said, uh, Amma, uh, Amma and Appa, uh, Amma was always there, and she never questions my decisions always and even now and and when there's a family you need to take up responsibility and uh, so that's what i think i have done whatever ways i can it's not only me Danu. you know uh, there are many people around us uh, who have been put in this correct. situation and to take up a lead role because and i would say in 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 my case it was my mother who stepped up hmm. so she had to assume the role of uh, because Both. i was I was at the very beginning of my uh, education um, degree, so um, she had to uh, take charge and steer things forward. So I think um, big appreciation to all those mums, mm. you know, who have to take the family forward. I must also mention your mom, you know, yeah. I mean, since we know each other for many years. Correct. Um, That's a connection which I'll tell you <laughs> about. Uh, but let's get into a fun segment. <laughs> Uh, and it's called Hot Seat. It's time to answer some questions. Welcome back. So we have some questions and now it's time to answer. Vidya, I'm going to start with you as you have more experience being on this show. No? Oh no, uh -huh. okay. All right. On a scale of 1 to 10, how corrupt is the Sri Lankan legal system? One being good, Ten being really bad. <laughs> you want me to push it to twelve? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, no. Uh, okay, legal system encapsulates everything. So uh, let me say a seven. Seven. All right. If Bharatanatyam was the only medium available for you to communicate, how would you describe Khan Deban's personality? using a Bharatanatyam mudra. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, this is him mm. when you see him. But uh, otherwise, it's full of love. Got you. <laughs> really? Uh, your husband is a royalist. Why is your elder son a Thomian? <laughs> good, <laughs> good question, <laughs> Danu. So, um, we had this discussion. Hmm. Uh, I think right now, 
we had to take many factors into consideration. Um, you know, given the fact that um, Royal is a fabulous school, and my husband would even now say it's the number one school. Mm. Um, but you know, given the changes in society and how things are picking up with the government and things like that, we felt that St. Thomas's was a safer bet for um, Kavin. So, uh, and also my father was a proud Thomian, a very proud Thomian. So I think all the factors together and we just wrapped our heads. Yeah, in so don't forget the fact that father was a Thomian. Second so. one? Second one will also most probably be a Thomian. Why you want to want but one in <laughs> one in royal? We can see each other at royal though. <laughs> but uh, I, it was more on on the where the country is going in terms of exactly. So okay. and um, also the morals that will be passed down. Yes. Okay. Yes. Peters was a good choice if you all have thought of it. If you had to rename the characters of the movie from Titanic. For a Tamil adaptation, what names would you use for Jack, Rose, and Titanic the ship? Rose would be, I don't know, what, Roja? Just right, because Roja. it's, yeah, Roja. Jack. Jack. Let's give him a like real Tamil right, name. Right, go for it. Subramaniam. So that's my cat's name. Oh, yes, yeah. it is, yeah. So it's, okay, it's, it's Subramaniam. And Titanic is called what? We'll let it be, no? Why should we change? So the it's Titanic. Yeah, it's Titanic. So Titanic featuring Subramaniam and Rose. Roja. 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 Yes. <laughs> Good. <laughs> okay. Uh, a politician you feel needs to be back in the parliament. This is just a hypothetical question. Okay. Uh, Mangala Samaravira, uh, Sri Mao Bandar Naika, Jayar Jayavardhana, Rana Singha Premadasa. You want some water? No, no. <laughs> I have two. Ah, go ahead. Yeah, so I would say Mangala Samaravira and Rana Singha Premadasa. Brilliant. Can't even to you now. Oh. Now, this is something I'm that I'm getting into trouble. Yeah, this is something that we are all very confused about. In your opinion, do you think TNA represents the Tamil community and their interest accordingly or appropriately? You should ask this question from Sumandran or Samanda, not me. But I, I can also tell you that they also represent Tamil community for sure. They um, also? They also represent Tamil communities for sure. Okay. But the better <laughs> person to answer your question is say the... They are not here, no? I'm just asking I you. I did answer your question saying that they also... Definitely also. Also being also, the key word. Yeah. Also. If given the chance, who would you choose to lead the Sri Lankan cricket team? Hmm. Interesting question. Um, I think we need to back Dasun. Oh. Yeah. Hmm. But then again, see, uh, uh, which format also matters, uh, no, right? No, don't you go didn't ask that question. Don't go into PhD <laughs> level here. You didn't Just ask Just stick that to question. Dasun. That's it. Uh, this is what I told you. Doesn't, doesn't Shanaka for T20s and one day internationals, yeah. Oh, no, he's Can't have two captains. Oh, it's just him. One quality you would like to change in Vidya yeah. and one quality that you will always like to treasure. Why didn't I get these questions? <laughs> you can answer as well if you want. Yeah. One quality, um, I mean she... Uh, say it, say it, can't this your <laughs> chance. <laughs> <laughs> uh, she definitely makes uh, the people who are around her uh, become better so much of inspiration from her uh, starting from me to anyone I can tell you and she's a great inspiration for me and also for her friends I'm sure uh, one thing I will, uh, expect her to change which is something I always tell her don't get panic for little little things you know uh, keep calm nothing can change what was the last thing that made you uh, coming here <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. No, I mean starting from anything, right? We hear <laughs> we hear a lot of things, crisis, this, yeah, that. Yeah. Uh, it's always important that we don't react to uh, yeah. things and we respond to things. So, the well-known show Who Wants to Be a Millionaire was also shot in Sri Lanka and was done in all three languages. In your opinion, you hosted the Tamil. Who did it better out of the other two who, who hosted alongside? Shaq or Chandana Surya Bandara? It's Chandana for sure. 
if you could have a conversation with the current president, what would your first topic of conversation be? Is he trying to leave? Be the leader <laughs> who wa you know people wants. Simple and and you know focus on what people needs right now, and uh, and come down from your ego. And people voted for you. Majority voted for you. And there's a reason why they voted for you. I mean, forget about I voted for him or whether I voted or not. But then there were people majority voted for him. They trusted him. I must say. So this is from uh, Crystal Luxury Wellness. Oh, so there's they a winner also. Yeah, uh, they actually know uh, Dr. Shanika as well. Yes. Uh, so no matter about whoever I give it to, you will still get all the services. No. So I think, to be honest, with their warning. No. <gasps> you're biased here. No, I'm not. You, you are, Your you're biased from the long. beginning. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. That's from the beginning. No, no. I think you are the lucky winner. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Thanks a lot. There you go. Lot. But that's actually Kahneman's gift bag. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. We're going to get into a break. We'll see you on the other side. Do stick around. It's Date with Dhanush. Welcome back to the show. In conversation with Kahneman and Vidya. But you go as Vidya Kahneman. You go as Balendra Kahneman. Yes. 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 We do it the other way around. We just carry forward the surname, but you all take the first name and become the surname. Correct? Yeah, that's me. Yeah. First name and then my surname. Yeah. But for him, it's the surname first. Yes. Whatever. It's just so confusing. Yes, yeah, yeah. yeah. But anyway. Uh, so, I wanted to speak about... Uh, now, there is... This is something that I touched on when I had Kandi Ben on a Tamil show that I do. Um, as someone who is Tamil, and I'm proud to say I'm from the North, uh, I feel that there is such less representat representatives coming forward to hold their own and do something about it. And also I feel that we are losing people every day as we talk. But as long as he said, you know, it's people like you who should be doing this, and he said it so loud that I couldn't like, say anything beyond that. But my question is, why is the situation coming forward? Why can't everyone feel that they have an ownership to this country, they have a part to play in this country, and stay here? From your opinion, as someone who has worked with the youth and who have seen a variety of people having different opinions, what is your um, opinion? No, the problem, I think, is, I mean, you should be made to feel that you belong. And um, that definitely is lacking in today's uh, context. Where do you uh, think the fundamental issue is? Governance, uh, definitely leadership. You know, uh, decisions have been ma have to be made at the right time for the people, and uh, I see the exact opposite happening in um, in today, um, and it's it's very disappointing because people like me, you know, we refuse to leave the country, and we are very um, optimistic. Mm. We try to, you know, yes. even when there's, I, I get really wild when people run down Sri Lanka, uh, yeah, especially, I mean, you know, friends or family who have left the country. Correct. And correct, they're like, they correct. are so comfortable here. What are you all doing? I get really angry. Yeah. But now I'm getting very, very tired, you know, trying to defend. Uh, we're losing points in our hands absolutely. to defend it. And I think that's very sad because we don't feel like this is our home. Mm. It is home. But yet, we feel like we are looking from the outside. We are treated otherwise, yeah. absolutely. And is it only for the Tamils or is it for all minorities? I think it's for everyone. All, uh, I think it's for everyone, not just a minority. I think everyone question, you know, what rights they have, uh, where they stand, where their future stands, what their future holds. Um, I think it's a problem for everyone right now. Kandiban, I'm sure you have such strong opinions within yourself and you come from a place like that from the time you were very young. Uh, being someone who has inspired so many youngsters, I know the amount of people follow you and all of that, what do they tell you frequently? Now that you also run a school, uh, I'm sure you meet so many youngsters walking through those doors, which we're going to talk about in a bit. But I want to ask about this particular angle. Um, to add on to what Vidya said, right? So, see, uh, we, we hear about people wants to go abroad and we are 
I mean, this crisis, that crisis, we are frustrated. Now we have kids, we want to, you know, our, our, even our generation is over, we need to think about our kids. We need to look at from the context point of view, Dano. You know, the context, my context is different from a context of a young kid who comes from North or a, or a young kid who comes from South. And what we have created uh, as a country for them to foresee their future as leaders, as policy makers. Um, have we created a country for them to look at the, the, the future op with optimism? And what they need is the, the, the exposure and experience. And forget about everything else, uh, live a basic life. Hmm. I mean, you know, a, a, a young, young couple who got two kids, middle income people, with their salaries, they can't survive in Sri Lanka right now. Everything starts with the survival. You know, people are passionate, people are proud of being Sri Lankan. I, I know many youngsters who came back to Sri Lanka, trying to make highly this. qualified. They can do wonders being out of the, you know, being overseas and leading many organizations. We still hear many change makers all over the world, and we celebrate those Sri Lankans. But we also have Sri Lankans within us, youngsters, you know, like, like us. They want to create a change. They want to be that change. So I think this is a time, at least now, for the future of Sri Lanka, for the future of our ge future generation. We must act now. And all of us got that responsibility. Yeah. <laughs> let's get into a game called yes or no, just to calm things a little bit and let's water ourselves. Let's drink water quickly. <laughs> <laughs> There is another point that I have to speak to Kanti Ben about. From his media career, he sort of took a turn and started his own education platform. We're going to speak about that. But before that, let's uh, <sighs> breathe. Did he just and grunt? Uh, yes, it just happens okay. automatically. So, uh, yes, no. Yes, that's it. We can't say yes and no. You can Let if you show. want to just hold it in the middle. Let like that. Okay? If you could take a million dollars, because now rupees are not valid, mm. uh, for you to never find true love, would you? A million dollars to never find true love. Unless I'm finding a person who is rich and loving. You, you also? Uh, both. Hmm. Uh, no. Okay. No. Okay. If you could have a certain memory erase, would you like to do that? Okay. Would you ever start a romantic relationship if you knew the bond was about to break away in a few years it's better to have loved and lost than not loved at but all you're asking a married couple come on we've been married <laughs> for 10 years uh, hypothetical, hypothetical but you can't say hypothetical for everything no do you think you'll have any regret when you're 90 hmm. yeah for sure i'll have a few uh, no. i could have i could have no mm -hmm. and yes, so how do I? Like this. Just <laughs> yeah, like this. I could have gone to the gym more. <laughs> have you ever borrowed anything from a friend and not returned it till today? Anything, yeah, yes. <laughs> have you ever lost a bet and had to do something that you really didn't want to do? No. No, yeah, no. Are you confident while looking in the mirror? Yeah, I'm seeing a lot of me now. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever peed in a swimming pool? Oh. Arne, please. Oh, yes. Yes. yes, I have. You all have not? No. I'm sure you all have without your knowledge. It just goes okay, freely. Without your knowledge, what is that? No. It just goes freely, you know. It's <laughs> water in water. Uh, this is when I was young. Okay. I will okay. definitely think next time, Dano, <laughs> getting into a swimming pool. With you, yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, do you have a private uh, social media account with a fake name? No. If you could find out how you were going to die, would you like to know? No. Yes. Oh. Oh. 
um, because I'll be panicking uh, thinking uh, you, that. Yeah. You <laughs> of course <laughs> definitely not the right yeah. person. Uh, we need to get into a break, but before that, I want to speak about this career change that you went through in life. Together, you all created this platform, uh, but without opening the usual universities that ask you to study accounting and science and biology and all. You all went into complete arts and advertising. Tell me about it, please. Uh, yeah, so um, from media to education, right? You know, we spoke about making a difference and all that. Uh, when I was it with media, I, I truly believe that media got the power of influence people hmm. and make that change. And that's what I was grateful uh, to be in part of media for over 20 years and do what I can, you know, for the communities and public. And I'm always grateful to Maharaja organization. You mentioned that. I was part of 15 years, got so much of opportunities and exposure. And I also must mention uh, the late Mr. Raj Mahendra. Uh, he was a mentor to me and a father figure. Uh, he always gave opportunities, not only for me, but many youngsters who are here today because of him as well. Um, moving from uh, media to education, we, I mean, when we were youngsters, right, we we never had a institution or a school where we can go and study media or mm. arts and things like that. So we wanted to create that opportunity right here. Then you know, um, uh, you ask about whether you have hope. Uh, what's the future? We want to create the future here in Sri Lanka, and in all what we can do for that with great-minded people and extremely talented young youngsters. We got a great team and a global faculty. Uh, we got the franchise of Miami at school, which is the world's most awarded creative school. And you were very much behind this. Definitely. Uh, and, you know, both of us decided to uh, work together and put our career forward. She, she is a lawyer. Uh, she was into education before me. She, she was an educator, lecturer, law lecturer. So we both of us decided to start Academics Group as Sri Lanka's first cross-sector education think tank with the vision of creating a more connected education system through technology, innovation, uh, and make sure that we uh, give that experience and exposure to our youngsters. It's really nice to know that you all have you all have all walks of life in you. You have arts, you have entertainment, you have culture, and it's always nice to keep everything going. Uh, we need to get into a break. When we do come back on the other side, we have more. Talk. And this is a segment where we get a bit touchy on our topics. Ditch the dirt. I didn't give enough time for Vidya to panic. Yeah. Yeah. I'm silently panicking. Uh, let me start with you. Uh, you're part of the Sri Lanka Unites movement. You have also been very vocal about the fact that, you know, a reconciled country is very much important. Uh, what would you say is currently, in your opinion, one of the biggest problems that the younger generation is facing? And do you feel that we are still divided or is it just made to believe that we are divided? I think it's made to believe that we are divided. I think uh, I spoke about this even in the show that I was, uh, the Date with Danu episode that I was on previously. And we brought f uh, wonderful four, kids yeah. or like representatives from four different walks of life who have experienced four different types of lifestyles yes. who have hated the Tamils or hated the Sinhalese or been ha harassed for being Muslims right after the bomb blast and they all have come together to create a united country within themselves and they've made friends with each other which is yes, amazing. It's amazing and I think you partly answered my question oh, also sorry. because <laughs> <laughs> no that's fine because um, <laughs> they are made to believe that uh, the other ethnicity uh, is or the other religion is different is um, lesser than them you know, so um, I think we need to move forward and move past that. And as Kandi said for um, earlier on, you know, he said that um, when it really hits you hard, that's when you have to make a decision. And I think we are all, you know, irrespective of ethnicity, religion, anything, we are all going through a very tough time in uh, the country today. So this is a time that we should probably make use of the hardships and unite. Hmm. Uh, to move forward. Uh, Kandiman, I'm going to touch a very sensitive topic in your life and I really hope that you will bear with me in this. Uh, 
Why I speak about this, of course, uh, the war was a huge part of our lives. I think anyone who was born in the 80s all the way till now has faced the war, seen the uh, brutality that comes with it, the lives that have gone with it, and also the judgments that have been placed. Uh, sometimes uh, my, my sister worked for a foreign bank and when, when, there, when there were bombs that go off, they'll just turn around and say, do you know? Do you know about this bomb? It's not that my sister took a lunch break and went to bomb somebody and come back. But it's that kind of a thinking that was around at that time. Um, Kandiban, your father's assassination must have been something that really crippled you emotionally more than the whole fact that it happened uh, because they took the spine of a family. But tell me from a child's point of view, have people understood the different levels that come with this and also without just quickly labeling you? I think I'll avoid this question. Okay. It'll be very, very sensitive if I speak. I know why you wanted to talk about it, but then... Uh, I told you. Yeah. <laughs> if I speak, it'll be very, very sensitive. Okay. And I will speak when the time is right. But in terms of an emotional level, personally, not from a political point of view. Uh, see, uh, it's, it's not a story about only about me, right? There are thousands of uh, kids lost their parents during this brutal war. And they have taken the life away from all of us. And you know, you have a dad, he's everything for you, your family, and suddenly, I mean, he was a proud Sri Lankan uh, who believed in Sri Lanka and helping communities and building that. And you suddenly, you know, your entire thing goes away from you. Oh. And this has happened not only for Tamil community, this but is to not all just Tamil community. What we need to understand, the people from north, south, east, west, you know, wherever they are, without dividing them by ethnicities, people have gone through hardships. Definitely. It's not easy to come out of that. Mm. And, you know, I had all reasons to move away, move out from Sri Lanka. And many opportunities, I'm sure. Asylum would have been the easiest format to get out to any country. <laughs> but yet you chose to stay here. Listen, uh, as I said, this country has given us so much. And I, I truly mean it when I say it. And just because my dad was taken out from us doesn't mean this country take, took him out of us. As I always say, uh, I think I've spoken about this many platforms. Uh, the element of the war has only one viewpoint from a majority of people if just a war happened. But uh, you don't always need to be someone who was caught in the war to feel the effects of it. You could be someone who was married to someone, you could be someone who was living close to them, you could be someone who was dependent on somebody. It has so many ways of crippling you and I think a world without a war is what we need to always dream about. But again, uh, you know, you, your first question to Vidya, what do you think about justice? Where do you put legal system 1 to 10? There are hundreds and thousands of people who don't even know where their parents are right now. Mm. There are hundreds and thousands of mothers who don't know where they the are, kids are, whether they are living or not. Give them an answer. True. Think about their life, Dano. So have we done our part as a country for them who have gone through this tough time? Uh, why didn't you decide to move out of this country? Why I didn't? Yeah. Ah, I really do like this country. Why? I don't know. I just think the spirit of it is here. You have hope? For this country? Well, I don't, I don't think that a system has hope, but of course the people have hope. Does that make sense? That's what makes sense. Ah, oh, thanks. You know, if people have <laughs> Sometimes hope, I'm every, telling you. <laughs> everything starts from people. I, mean, I know, you know Harvard yeah. just lays on my head. <laughs> uh, but anyway, let's get into a break. We'll see you on the other side. All right, it's time that we uh, take a little tour down memory lane uh, by looking at some of the pictures that they took the time to upload. What a start to this segment. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Yeah. 
Please smile like that. Thank you look you. the same. Yeah, yeah, she always actually. got that smile. Yeah. yeah, you look the same. You I actually, fringe. actually, my my elder son, Kavin, looks a lot like this now, doesn't he? Yeah, but Say everyone yes. says that Say he yes. looks like yeah. me. But yes, yeah. Yeah. with that smile. But you smile. put a fringe on. <laughs> you? I had a donkey fringe. I sported a donkey fringe for a very for a long, long time. time. Yeah. Look at this. Mm. You get caught to the selfie because I can see the hand, yeah. but uh, can't even. I, I can't imagine you dressed like this. What happened? Why this was a selfie he took to send to me Ooh. because he wanted me to select the shades that he was going to ah. buy. Dancer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and um, but he's how dressed the pose like for this it? because he's. This was in Paris. Oh. This was when he was in Paris. Right for him to step out. Oh, that's yeah. That's that's my dad. That's that's what he is. You know, he would just come down to your level, be a kid with you, and I'm also in that picture, but I'm not seen there. I know it's just yeah. insignificant in that little <laughs> picture. Uh, this was a very special birthday. We were all part of it, actually. Yeah. I am D. Are you? Yes, I'm you're D. there. Yes. I Danu. asked for the D. If you you asked for the D. D yeah. for Danu. Yeah. But the T-shirt was very small. Yeah, that was just, his. Uh, just wanted to say. That. I think that was his thirtieth birthday. Yeah. yeah. Hmm. Vidya made it very special. Having Correct. Like, Correct. Know, all our friends. So this is Kandiban's very pretty sister. Um, her name is Diana. Uh, you know how this universe works in the most interesting way. Uh, when I was growing up, my mum used to always speak about this girl called Diana because she was like she has come into this school that was seen to ladies' college. She was in the English medium. I don't know why they brought her here to learn in Tamil. It's, she's struggling, and I feel so bad for her. And my mum used to always come and say. And but she she was always very fond of this girl called Diana. It stayed in my head. After many years, I met Diana in person to see that was his sister. I was like, when I met, her, I was like, oh my god, are you the same? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I learned English under your mom. So uh, it's such a small world, yeah. but uh, that's her. How is she doing? She's, she's great. Doing, she's a mom. She's great, yeah. yeah. Uh, and I think personally, for me also, I was the only child, so she's. She's got a place to share. Very, very, yeah. Lo we share a lot of stuff, and she's very special to me as well. <laughs> That's me. <laughs> so talk about it. What was this for? Uh, that was after winning uh, the the Champions Trophy organized by uh, Hindu College for their 50th year anniversary, uh, All Island Debate Competition. So we were the champions, and I got the uh, best debater of the tournament. Yeah. <laughs> Were you a tennis player as well? No, I I don't know why I'm wearing that and I don't know why I'm <laughs> holding that. <laughs> but your wearing is very cute. It's cute, but it's like something a tennis player would wear. Correct. And Maybe I that's the look you are trying to get. At. Not even remotely. No. So we still have that tennis record and whenever what? I ask her that you know it's not this. Ah, not I that, started okay. tennis in school. It must have lasted for about a month. Right. That's it. I also started tennis in school. Yeah. Last it less than a month. <laughs> 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 I also did hockey for a month. <laughs> mm. Ah, that was just uh, I think a month after we got married. Yeah, yeah. Pictures, when I yeah. first met you at your engagement, no, I thought no. you were, must be a real snobbish cat. Yeah. Yeah, I think it was the makeup she told me after that because her eyebrows were here. Like yes. above the hair as well. It was the makeup. Yeah, um, and I thought she was such a rude person. And what do you think now? Uh, things have not changed. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't need the eyebrow to prove it. <laughs> uh, I love this photograph, and I love the expression in this. Yeah. Uh, what she means is to give one more kiss. For a son. Son, yes. I figured that out. Yes. It's uh, you're you're acting, you're portraying the character of. This is basically for you would know this Bharatiyar um, song Chinnan Chirukuliye. I know. Yeah. Chinnan Chirukuliye Kannamma. Uh, yes. Danu can sing better than this. But People, anyway. I know my literature. So this was that Sorry. song. I danced for that song, and okay. it. This is a very very special uh, performance uh, because I actually danced after I had my first son, and it's very close to my heart. And. I, I can say that it's one of her best performance with so much of soul into it. It was a comeback. Yeah, it was a comeback. Brilliant. Uh, so, uh, irony, uh, I have uh, 
and, and thanks for all these yeah, pictures. Yeah, thanks ah, for no these worries. pictures. Thank you. Uh, I must say, the best thing that uh, Vidya changed about Kandiban was his look. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, yeah. I think this has been so, yeah, on record. So this and this, right? This yeah, like, no, we can show no, some that's worse. that school uniform. That, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that you can't help. But the rest of it, like... Yeah, he had, you know... He had it. He but shortly, it was no, no, he never had it. Uh, <laughs> shortly, shortly <laughs> after we got married, he had this very bright pink tie. Uh. It's not bright. It's like, you know, like a baby pink, but very shiny tie. Right, right, right. And he used to insist that he should wear it to work. I, I think I must have burnt that. That was the start. Yeah, that was yeah. the start. Yeah. But I can tell you, she, um, I mean, even when I did my, the, the show Who Wants to Be a Millionaire, she was my designer. Good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, because you might have matched okay. the set otherwise. <laughs> With that pink shiny tie. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> uh, but uh, to be honest, I'm so happy that I've been a part of your life for so long, although we don't always meet and... Uh, talk. I'm so happy to know that you guys have uh, kept it to your roots proudly and at the same time bring out the best in the two of you and so many others around you. Thank you for being on this show. Thanks for being so honest. Thanks for being so real. Absolutely love having you guys on the show and I wish you all the very best. Thank you so much Danu for having us. It's always a pleasure and uh, I must say uh, we are extremely proud of you of your growth now. I have known you, he has known you for longer. I've known you for almost 11 years now. And um, the way you have built yourself up is just amazing. And uh, we are so proud of you. Yes. Thank you. Um, thanks again for having us. Um, and I, as I always say, it's extremely, extremely difficult to have a serious, fun conversation with me. <laughs> And yes. uh, you make sure that you bring that part oh, out of me. Try going for a dinner for with sure. him. That also becomes so stressful. Yes. Yeah. We actually have nice conversations when he goes to wash. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> actually, it's, it's the truth. Everything is so like prim and proper with this man. You know those principals who you know you have to behave in front of? That's who he is to me. But Danu, congratulations on your 20 years. Right, again. right, right. Thank you. Yeah. I, I think he's complimenting me in such a... Congratulations on your 20 <laughs> <laughs> it's just so sad. <laughs> I'm telling you, he doesn't need a mic. All right, on that note, we're going to wrap things up on the show. Thank you for joining us. We'll see you soon with another episode to date with Dano. Keep smiling.